Philippines. <laughs> Live at the Scullery Theater from the entertainment capital of the world. In the heart of downtown Las Vegas, we present the Downtown Podcast with your host, Mr. Dylan Jorgensen, Jillian Minter, Trey Taliaferri, and music by yours truly. Tonight's guest from ID Tech, Daniel Chabnik. From Vegas Life TV, David Tupac. University Regent, Sam Lieberman. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up for the man who prefers his balls extra inflated, Mr. Trey Tayafele. How's everybody doing tonight? Great, great crowd tonight, yeah. Thank you for that wonderful intro. <laughs> speaking, of, speaking of deflated balls, or inflated balls, uh, who here has been watching the football and noticed that the Patriots' balls have been a little bit um, deflated, right? Uh, yeah. So uh, it, it just released that the NFL investigated the New England Patriots and found that 11 of their 12 playing footballs have been underinflated. Under league rules underinflated, mm -hmm. right? Uh, today, uh, Tom Brady held a press conference and said that he didn't alter his balls in any ways, and that he likes the feel of the balls that he had. And why would he change the way he likes, the, he likes his balls? All right. Um, and uh, he, he also said that um, we shouldn't be talking about something like this. It's not as bad as, as ISIS, right? But we're talking about Tom Brady's balls. I think it's a pretty big deal, right? <laughs> Am I right? Yeah, OK. <laughs> that joke is funny in the Philippines. <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, in other news, the street, the street artist Katsu painted a portrait of Mark Zuckerberg, the founder of Facebook, in his own poop. Uh, get ready. For, these jokes are going to be crappy. Okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> it wasn't the highest selling painting, but it was number two. Oh. <laughs> Did you hear it was also? It was a regular piss casso. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Wow. Wow. Also... The, the, the artist got his supplies from Taco Bell. Yeah, oh. ooh, that stinks, stinks. Uh, when asked how, how he felt about the portrait, Zuckerberg said that he was in the dumps. Yep. Oh. That's a good joke to end on when no one's laughing. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, we got a great show for you guys tonight. Tonight is the night. Tonight, we're gonna set it off right with DJ Lenny Love. Uh, Alfonso. Alfonso. <laughs> This is Bonnie with My Vagabond Soul, and we want to know, what is your dream and how are you chasing it? Follow us as we interview dreamers of all walks of life, entrepreneurs, musicians, artists, and much more. Hear more about this interview with Craw and the Salvation Highway Band. Well, songwriting and playing music is my passion. I want to inspire others that come from struggle to chase their dreams and one day make it become a reality. For this interview with My Vagabond Soul co-founder and artist, Kat Ford. I started writing children's books to encourage kids of all ages to chase their dreams. We believe in chasing our dreams and want to inspire you. So visit us at MyVagabondSoul.com, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Because now that you know your dream, it's time to start chasing it. <laughs> 